All right. So in all honesty, this is take two. Um, I've been a media student for four years, and I still make really, really simple and dumb mistakes. Um, so, like leaving this camera on. We talked about, the first story was the um, Sky High Scoop story. Yep, at the uh, uh, Marion Airport here. That was, like, that was like back in May, right? That was, yeah. Like May, late May, early June. I mean, my favorite part about that was getting free ice cream at the end. <laughs> um, thank you, Mark. I greatly appreciate it. Um, so uh, you, you said beforehand you wanted to me you mention that story specifically. Is there anything you wanted to talk about? Yeah, well, I think it's important to mention because it was like our first, like you said, getting our feet wet. And it was good because we, it's, it was far more than just the Marion Airport. Um, we had to go to the Marion High School and talk to students there, faculty. We went to Nevera Tropical, who is partnered with uh, the Marion uh, Airport. Yeah. And they are the ones that supply the ice cream. And even like Nevera Tropical, there's like a whole story with um, that business and the owner there. Mm -hmm. And so it was really cool because of how broad it was, how many different parts played into a simple, or quote unquote simple, <laughs> ice cream shop at an airport. There's a lot of good things happening in Marion that either are hardly really talked about, mm -hmm. or, and like nobody knows about it. Because I've lived in Grant County pretty much my entire life. I didn't even know Casa was a thing. You know, the sand sculpture building fest that happened, it, you know, there's a lot of stories that really should be told. Mm -hmm. And and that was a fun story. That was a great story. Leslie Hendricks and everyone there was just really great to talk to. The thing with that story was how quick a turnaround it was. Oh, yeah. That was, I mean, to be fair, I did do one interview like a week beforehand. Yeah. But like in terms of writing the article and getting the video done, I think it took us like what two hours if that yeah in terms of writing and all that and then before that it was probably another couple hours of just collecting the interviews and b-roll itself so mm -hmm. we did we did that in pretty much an afternoon yeah. and I know I we really couldn't have like we, we could have done it in the span of like two days but with my internship at Wayne 15 being a TV news like being a TV station I was like we could definitely do this in an afternoon and that's I guess secretly that's what I was trying to push us to do, to say that we could do it. So moving um, into this next school year with the I team mindset, I think we'll help out a bunch of new people too. So mm -hmm. being there to help guide them and show them, hey, here's what you do. And then encouraging teamwork later on in the semester with the uh, students themselves. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I did. This is some of the most teamwork I've done in uh, terms of writing news stories because mm -hmm. there was a lot of independent work throughout the year. I did a couple of um, group projects and stories as well during the year. And those were honestly some of the more fun ones because being able to, again, work with someone, play on each other's strengths, um, being able to also experience and learn together, mm -hmm. that, that's definitely something to take note of. and. I'm excited to do that moving forward. I think one aspect of our, even working together this entire summer, one aspect that we really lacked was the social media aspect. Like we are multimedia students and it's more video, audio, writing, yes. Photos, yes. But also promoting what we're doing, the stories that we're telling so that not only our audience can learn more about it, but also, hopefully, people here in Indiana Westland, too. I mean, they're, Marion, this is where you're going to be. And if you have the ability, go out there and explore Marion and Grant County. Mm -hmm. Heck, go all the way to Northern Huntington County and find a guy giving away free coffee. <laughs> but that's just me. But, like, the social media aspect, getting our stories out there, because we can just we can post them on YouTube and Grant, the Grant Connect and Sojourn websites, and that's what we've been doing this entire summer. But... I don't honestly don't think a lot of people were able to read them yeah because we didn't have that social media presence no. I'm, and i'm not a social media guy so i mean like I, how you mentioned like the indiana wesleyan bubble i think that does look a little bit more at the grant connected side but one thing i think i've learned even the course of last year is 
not many people are too familiar with even the sojourn here on campus. Oh yeah. I've even talked with professors that were like, can you tell me about what the sojourn is? So we, I want to promote not only the sojourn and Grand Connected more and Amplify more, but also sojourn comics. Because mm -hmm. that's, we want, we want people to be more connected to the school newspaper and to what's happening around campus because it's kind of important to know about. Like we, we broadcast uh, football and basketball games on the the Fortress radio station, 94.3, The Fortress, creating community. Ah, the, uh, yep, yep. We do live broadcasts of the, you know, the football and basketball games. And, and that's, again, something I don't think too many people know of. So, I mean, if you're a big fan of those uh, events, uh, football, basketball, maybe even are a part of another sport and you would love to get more involved yeah. with our own stories. And that even like brings in Wildcat Week too, the yeah. sports podcast that we have. So, I was a giant community that affects all the students, all the staff, but also affects people in Marion, you know? And also making I lose more stu I lose students more aware of what's happening in Marion, I feel like is also mm -hmm. important. Granted, like the I will bubble, it's kind of hard to pop. So yeah. figuring out how to pop that this year is one of my goals and promoting more. Getting posters, social media posts, mm -hmm. um, getting it on the chapel slideshow, you know, catching people's eyes. Yeah. And again, back to the Indiana Wesleyan bubble, I want to mention this is like we have both been members of Grant County. Like I've grown, I've grown up here. Yeah, I'm from the area, and so a lot of people here don't even know what the Indiana Wesleyan bubble is. They're not even aware of it. People in the community are. Yeah. So there's, a, I have a lot of ambition for this next year. I expect this is my final year here, here at Ivo. You know. Um, there's a lot of stuff I want to get done. A lot of stuff I know Mom and Doc, Amy Smelser and Mark Perry, PhD, want to get done. Um, there's a lot on our plates, and I think we can do it. Because Amplify Media isn't just the people on the core team. I mean, you're not even a... I'm a staff member on Amplify Media. Mm -hmm. Andrew Skelf isn't a paid staff member, but he's working with... You're working with Amplify, yeah. you know? It isn't just the team of people that meet every Tuesday to talk about, hey, here's what we're doing this week. It is the students in the media department and even with Sojourn Comics in, in other, we want, we want more people to be involved. But I think, I just want, we just want to say thank you to Amy Smelser and Dr. Perry for allowing us this opportunity to not only grow as journalists and mm -hmm. storytellers, but to have ideas of how we want to carry on into this 2024-2025 school year here at Indiana Westland and hopefully inspire people to improve in their craft. Um, so thank you for watching and we will return. Amplify Media will return. This is not a goodbye. This is a summer recap. We will be back August 31st for the Grand Canyon Merce Commission fly in cruise in. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. It's always a fun event. Yes. Always a fun event. So anyway, stay safe, drink water, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Live, laugh, love. Live, laugh, love.